a warning against centralization. Dated at St. Helena, California, September 4, 1902. A message to the leaders in our medical work. Dear brethren, the Lord is working impartially for every part of his vineyard. It is men who disorganize his work. He does not give to his people the privilege of gathering in so much means to establish institutions in a few places that nothing will be left for the establishment of similar institutions in other places. Many plants are to be established in the cities of America and especially in the southern cities where as yet little has been done. And in foreign lands, many medical missionary enterprises are to be started and carried forward to success. The establishment of sanitariums is as essential in Europe and other foreign countries as in America. The Lord desires his people to have a right understanding of the work to be done and as faithful stewards to move forward wisely in the investment of means. In the erection of buildings, he desires them to count the cost to see whether they have enough with which to finish. He also desires them to remember that they should not selfishly gather all the means possible to invest in a few places, but that they should work with reference to the many other places where institutions must be established. Economy and Benevolence From the light given me, the managers of all our institutions, and especially of the newly established sanitariums, are to be careful to economize in the expenditure of means, that they may be in a position to help similar institutions that are to be established in other parts of the world. Even if they have a large amount of money in the treasury, they should make every plan with reference to the needs of God's great missionary field. It is not the Lord's will for his people to erect mammoth sanitariums anywhere. Many sanitariums are to be established. They are not to be large, but sufficiently complete to do a good and successful work. Cautions have been given me in reference to the work of training nurses and medical missionary evangelists. We are not to centralize this work in any one place. In every sanitarium established, Young men and young women should be trained to be medical missionaries. The Lord will open the way before them as they go forth to work for Him. The evidences before us of the fulfillment of prophecy declare that the end of all things is at hand. Much important work is to be done out of and away from the places where in the past our work has been largely centered. When we bring a stream of water into a garden to irrigate it, we do not provide for the watering of one place only, leaving the other parts dry and barren to cry, Give us water! And yet this represents the way in which the work has been carried forward in a few places to the neglect of the great field. Shall the desolate places remain desolate? No, let the stream flow through every place, carrying with it gladness and fertility. Lowliness and unselfishness. Never are we to rely upon worldly recognition and rank. Never are we in the establishment of institutions to try to compete with worldly institutions in size or splendor. We shall gain the victory not by erecting massive buildings in rivalry with our enemies, but by cherishing a Christ-like spirit, a spirit of meekness and lowliness. Better far the cross and disappointed hopes with eternal life at last than to live with princes and forfeit heaven. The Savior of mankind was born of humble parentage in a sin-cursed, wicked world. He was brought up in obscurity at Nazareth, a small town in Galilee. He began his work in poverty and without worldly rank. 
Thus, God introduced the gospel in a way altogether different from the way in which many in our day deem it wise to proclaim the same gospel. At the very beginning of the gospel dispensation, he taught his church to rely not on worldly rank and splendor, but on the power of faith and obedience. The favor of God is of greater value than gold and silver. The power of His Spirit is of inestimable worth. Thus saith the Lord, Buildings will give character to my work only when those who erect them follow my instruction in regard to the establishment of institutions. Had those who have managed and sustained the work in the past always been controlled by pure, unselfish principles, there never would have been the selfish gathering of a large share of my means into one or two places. Institutions would have been established in many localities. The seeds of truth sown in many more fields would have sprung up and borne fruit to my glory. Places that have been neglected are now to receive attention. My people are to do a sharp, quick work. Those who with purity of purpose fully consecrate themselves to me, body, soul, and spirit shall work in my way and in my name. Everyone shall stand in his lot looking to me, his guide and counselor. I will instruct the ignorant and anoint with heavenly eye salve the eyes of many who are now in spiritual darkness. I will raise up agents who will carry out my will to prepare a people to stand before me in the time of the end. In many places that before this ought to have been provided with sanitariums and schools, I will establish my institutions and these institutions will become educational centers for the training of workers. Providential Opportunities The Lord will work upon human minds in unexpected quarters. Some who apparently are enemies of the truth will in God's providence invest their means to develop properties and erect buildings in time, these properties will be offered for sale at a price far below their cost. Our people will recognize the hand of providence in these offers and will secure valuable property for use in educational work. They will plan and manage with humility, self-denial, and self-sacrifice. Thus, men of means are unconsciously preparing auxiliaries that will enable the Lord's people to advance His work rapidly. In various places, properties are to be purchased to be used for sanitarium purposes. Our people should be looking for opportunities to purchase properties away from the cities on which are buildings already erected and orchards already in bearing. Land is a valuable possession Connected with our sanitariums, there should be lands, small portions of which can be used for the homes of the helpers and others who are receiving a training for medical missionary work.